Founded by a former music industry vet, Microphone Brewing has quickly developed a reputation around the Midwest for awesome hazy IPAs and big, interesting stouts like this one, which is part of their Smells Like Bean Spirit Breakfast Stout series. We got in the van and headed down to Chicagoland to talk with their owner and founder, Mike Pallon. Great music lives here. We are committed to amplifying Minnesota music to keep it independent and influential. Get closer to Minnesota music with The Local Show and The Duluth Local Show, Sunday nights on The Current. Everything we do is kind of the soundtrack to our lives. All the different beer names we come up with, the vibe in here, it's all kind of an expression of what we listen to and, and how music is that heartbeat for us. The reason that uh, microphone is all music-centric and music-based is because I always wanted to have kind of an expression of me and myself along with my passions of beer and music. I, growing up, was huge into music, be it singing, and then it got into A&R and band promotion, street repping and all that good stuff. I used to live in Wisconsin. I moved down to Chicago as a stepping stone to go to LA and hopefully work at Capitol Records one day. That was my dream. Fortunately and unfortunately, I actually found a really great job in Chicago that was a digital music agency. As that kind of journey changed, I ended up going to work at School of Rock, which they had just moved their offices from Teaneck, New Jersey to Burridge, Illinois. Um, and so I joined on, on the marketing team for School of Rock, kind of helping out with the marketing platform and all the social media for all the schools, both here in the US and overseas. Being the marketing background that I had, we took that and kind of leveraged that from a homebrew operation into getting our feet wet into a pro operation. The main styles that Microphone kind of started with were your, you know, your overly hoppy New England style, juicy, hazy IPAs. Um, a lot of the adjunct big Imperial Stouts and then fruit flavored Berliner Weisses. A big project of ours has been really balancing out that list and offering. And so now we have lagers, we have an amber scheduled on the board, we've got um, big stouts, small stouts, we've got a porter coming out soon. So any beer style you can imagine, we are now making and offering up. You know, one of the beers that kind of became our flagship beer is Smells Like Bean Spirit. Uh, a definite play on Nirvana, Smells Like Teen Spirit. I actually didn't come up with the name. The name was brought to me by a good friend, Paul, um, and he had just introduced me to a new coffee roaster. He's like, what if you do Smells Like Bean Spirit, a coffee stout? But I'm like, something's missing. That we, We've had coffee stouts for all these years. Let's get into that breakfast stout phase. And so that's when we brought the maple syrup into it. We had traditionally used a Sumatra dark roast blend from Tugboat. And as we kind of got deeper and deeper into coffees and trying new things, we said, what if we switched up the coffee and show how that would alter the beer's taste? And sure enough, it did. So in the Dabbler in a Box season five batch you guys are getting, you will find Smells Like Bean Spirit Special Roast Bowline Blend. And that again is uh, we're using Tugboat's coffee like we always do. But this time, their Bowline Blend is a difference between Sumatra. What Bowline Blend is, is it's a black and tan version. So they take their dark roast with a light roast, blend those two together to make Bowline Blend. So you'll still get that great viscous mouth because we, we, we pack that beer with a lot of oats. Um, there's a lot of cho chocolate notes from the, the malt. Um, but you'll get this dark roast that'll come and, and, and tickle your nose as soon as you enjoy it and smell it. Uh, maple's always there, so you get that sticky, resinous maple, and then it kind of just finishes with a nice light roast. Nothing too roasty or um, and burnt or anything like that on the back end. Um, and one of the things we did with Tugboat was we really figured out a way to get rid of that green pepper. A, a, an off note in coffee beers is green pepper. And so we kind of dialed in how he roasted the coffees and how we introduced them into the batch. Eric from Tugboat Coffee will bring the beans to us whole bean and we will grind them and get them in the beer as soon as possible. Because he told us that within the first 10 minutes of the uh, beans being ground, you lose 90% of the aromas. So we wanted to capture that as best we can. So 
We actually grind all the coffee beans here on site, get them into the beer as fast as we can, and capture all those aromatics. We always get asked, have you ever got a cease and desist from you know, any of the beer names you've done? I'll never forget this day, it was a Thursday, it was like 4.45 p.m., getting ready to shut down for the day. I get an email, and it's from a certain person I will always recognize his name, and it said Slim Hazy Reference. And I was like, uh-oh. Do I want to open this one or do I not want to open this one? And I'm glad I did because it turned out to be Eminem's manager, Paul Rosenberg, and he was the opposite of a cease and desist. He was like, can I, get, can I get some beer sent my way? He's like, I love this reference, this is amazing. I'd love to try some beer. And so then next thing I know, we're, we're sharing an email correspondence throughout the rest of the night. And then I actually got to go out to New York and meet him in person and have a good conversation with him. And you know, after that, he, he sent me some insane M&M swag. And we, every time we do that batch, we send beer out to him. So that was one of those where you, you could have went one way, it went a totally different way. And it's, it's been awesome. So for the most part, we've had a really good um, relationship with artists and bands. Um, we've actually done a few projects where we've had the artists collaborate with us. We hope to do more and more of that stuff. We, you know, as, as, as COVID has really struck in that industry, we want to see how we can give back to them. You know, they've been off the road for almost a year now. And so if there's a way that we can find, a, a, either way to bring them in here to play or a way to, to raise money for their bands or for their charities, we will do that next year as best we can. So we'll be approaching you know, six years coming up here soon. Um, and with that, we always have fun beers that we have planned, ready to come out. Uh, we've never released barrel-aged, super imperial smells like bean spirit. That'll be coming out in the next few months here. Um, we're starting a new line of barrel-aged beers where we're, we're sourcing some of the most you know, highly sought after, most expensive ingredients. Um, and that'll be called the, the Blue Room Batch series. Now outside of the barrel-aging program, we've got you know, our staples are coming through with Mike Check 1-2 always available. That's our double dry hop, double IPA with citra hops. But, you know, we've got plans to finally make our first golden ale this year. Um, light, easy drinking, that 9.99 four pack that, you know, we hope you wanna crack open every weekend and, and enjoy. Like I mentioned, we have an amber coming out finally. Um, and then just continuously pushing the boundaries. So if you're in Wisconsin ever, check out the Madison and Milwaukee areas. And then anytime we brew batches at our contract facility up at Octopi in Madison, Wisconsin, uh, we were able to get beer up to Minnesota, to Colorado, to Florida, to Michigan, to Georgia and California. Well, I hope you got to learn some things about microphone today. Um, appreciate you uh, tuning in and checking us out. And I, I hope you enjoy Smells Like Bean Spirit. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a fun beer that we've really loved to play with and we're really happy with how the Blue Line blend has turned out. But, you know, please come visit. We're, we're located just outside of Chicago, near O'Hare Airport. If you want to learn more about us, microphonebrewing.com, facebook.com slash microphonebrewing, Instagram, we're on there too. So uh, check us out, find us, come support us, and uh, cheers. Cheers.